Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inx Laura123 and in this video I'm going to be talking about Hanukkah. So yeah, for those of you that are watching that are Jewish and uh, are celebrating Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah to all of you. And I of course myself am Jewish, so hey, happy Hanukkah to me. Now in this video I've got some footage that I'm going to include. Um, I went to a public menorah lighting yesterday, uh, very local to me. Every year they put up like this really large menorah, which is like the candelabra that we use for Hanukkah. And yeah, I filmed a little bit of footage there, so that was cool, I'm going to include that. And also um, I'm going to include some footage that we've done in the house where we lit up our own menorah and done our prayers and stuff. So yeah, carry on watching for a bit of that footage. Um, but yeah, like, I'm really into it like I'm not full-on religious but I just I don't know I'm fascinated by religion and I'm very proud to be Jewish um, I also like when I'm kind of into my religion thing it brings me closer to my grandma because my grandma was very well not very very religious but she was very religious to a, de a degree do you know what I mean and she was Jewish and she was so proud to be Jewish you know her faith got her through so many like, hard times and sad things in her life she always had her faith to make her stronger and make her happy and after she died I kind of wanted to learn more about Judaism and kind of embrace it and be proud to be Jewish and learn about it and you know it brings me closer to my grandma and I think you know if she's up there watching she'd be like yes okay she's finally getting into the Jewish religion because like for years I wasn't interested I was atheist I didn't want to know anything about religion and now you know I'm yeah I'm quite into it but anyway so I've got this book here that I'm going to be reading to you, The Story of Hanukkah. This is, um, <laughs> actually it's called A Hanukkah Story for Laura. So this is a personalised book that my lovely fiancé Nathan got for me a couple of years ago. And I love it, I cherish it, it's so cute. Now Nathan, my fiancé, is atheist. Well, officially he's Catholic, but he's atheist. He doesn't believe in any religion. He is like a, a man of science, he calls himself. But he's very respectful and sweet, you know, when it comes to me, like, learning more about the religion and just being supportive of, of me when I'm doing all the festivals and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that. Uh, so this book is kind of like um, the Hanukkah story, but with a little twist. And uh, on the pages, there's these really cute little pictures and stuff. And they kind of incorporate the word Laura uh, into the pictures. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I thought I would just read you uh, the story and yeah, because a lot of people ask me, you know, what is Hanukkah? What is this? What is that? So I thought I'd just do this short little video just to maybe give you a little glimpse, a little bit of an understanding about what it is. And it's really, like, it's really special. Like, I love Hanukkah. I know it's one of the like minor holidays, like the festivals and stuff, but I don't know. I just, I really enjoy it. I think because it's the festivals of lights as well, I just find it very bright and colourful and positive and yeah and I've got a Hanukkah jumper, I've got a Hanukkah t-shirt, oh yeah. <laughs> um, before I start with the story I want to show you my two little dreidels. I've got a few more as well but these are my favourites so I've got the yellow and the blue spinning the dreidel, it's a game we play at Hanukkah anyway. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, carry on watching as I say after I've rambled with the story because I have got some footage uh, to show you as well. So I'm going to read you the story. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. Uh, so it actually says in here, the first page, which is super cute, it says, Have a happy Hanukkah, love from Nathan. That's so cute. Okay, so here we go. Laura the Dreidel was in a spin. It was almost the first night of Hanukkah. There I am, Laura the Dreidel. <laughs> um, but what is Hanukkah, Laura asked the great menorah, and why do you hold so many candles? Why? Why do you hold them? Silly dreidel, the great menorah replied, to learn of the Jewish festival of lights, we must travel far back in time to meet the Maccabees. Laura saw a flash of light and spun backwards in time over 2,000 years. Laura the Dreidel and the Great Menorah landed in Jerusalem, where Laura could see a beautiful temple. Many people were gathered around. Showing you the pictures there. Um, what's going on, Laura asked the menorah. A wicked man called, now I've got to say this properly, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Antiochus, Antiochus, Antiochus. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, is invading this peaceful Jewish nation. He is forcing people to believe a different religion and taking over their temples, explained the menorah. Laura could see that all of the Jewish people were very upset about this. The invading king could punish them if they didn't obey and convert 
the temples. So the king's army were marching down each street and punishing everyone who followed the rules of the Torah. To avoid trouble, when they gathered to study the Torah, some Jews carried a spinning top. When the soldiers came, they would hide their studies and pretend to be playing a gambling game with the top. Laura saw one man stand out from the crowd. My name is Judah Maccabee, he said. My brothers and I will not betray the Torah. The menorah told Laura to stay out of the way and together they watched the Maccabees bravely rec reclaim the great temple from the invading army. Inside the temple was a complete mess. The Maccabees removed every symbol of the religion that was forced on them and Laura helped to dust and even the menorah helped to sweep the dirty floors. Once everything was clean, the Maccabees wanted to purify the temple by lighting the oil lamps and everyone was upset that there was only enough oil to light the lamps for one day. But a miracle occurred because once the lamp was lit, that small amount of oil burned brightly for eight whole days. And that's why in the menorah, we've got the eight. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, in a flash and a spin, Laura and the menorah arrived back home. And that is why I have so many candles, said the menorah proudly. One helper candle, called a shamash, is used to light the eight special candles, one for each night of the miracle. Oh, it's so cute. That's fantastic, said Laura. Do people give presents? Yes, said the menorah. The children are given presents and everybody eats special foods, like yummy latkes, which are fried in oil, to remind us of that oil miracle. We also play lots of fun games. Like the dreidel game, Laura cried, spinning in excitement. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> so hopefully that's kind of explained to you what Hanukkah is in a kind of fun, twisted, I'm in it kind of way. Um, at the back here, it's also got um, how to play the dreidel game. Actual, you know, what to do and stuff, all the letters and you have to spin it and yeah. Um, there's also the lyrics to the dreidel song. Now, I've got a bit of a sore throat. But I'll sing a little bit of it for you, because, you know, why not? It's, it's Hanukkah. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. Oh, dreidel, 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 then dreidel I shall play. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm not singing anymore. Hurt in the throat, you see. Um, and yeah, at the back, there's like proper information about it. So it says, uh, celebrating Hanukkah, um, so yeah, this, this has always weirded me out. There's two ways people spell Hanukkah. Um, Jewish people always like are very argumentative, even with each other, and we can't even agree on how to spell Hanukkah. Um, I spell it with an H, so H-A-N-U-K-K-A-H, but um, other people spell it with a C, so C-H-A-N-U-K-A-H. Anyway, um, so also know, known as the Festival of Lights, Feast of Dedication dates back to two centuries before the beginning of Christianity. The festival is celebrated for eight nights and days, starting on the 25th day of Kislev, according to the Hebrew calendar. As the Hebrew calendar is dependent on the sun and moon, Hanukkah can take place at any time from late November to late December in the calendar we use today. The story of the Maccabees in Hanukkah can be read in the Torah, which is the Jewish sacred text. The Torah is very special and contains stories and teachings about how to live a good life and it tells Jewish people how to pray, what to eat and which festivals to celebrate. Not every Jewish person follows all the rules but all Jews see the Torah as being sacred and special which is very true there are so many different types of Jews you know and I think people uh, who are like not really like you know in the know kind of think there's only one type of Jew and that's that there's not there's all like different types of Jews you know there's liberal reform ultra orthodox orthodox conservative it, it's so many different types of Jews but do you know what at the end of the day even though we all might be different and some are more kind of observant and you know do all the rules and some are less and more kind of liberal with it we're all Jewish people we're all part of that same kind of Jewish pride and and you know I, I'm very happy to be Jewish and yeah there we go <laughs> there we go. So happy Hanukkah to everyone. When I was younger, I used to be um, just really scared to say that I was Jewish in case I was bullied. You know, there was like a couple of Jewish people at school and um, everyone knew they were Jewish and they were really badly bullied. Like they throw pennies at them. Um, 
and you know just be really horrible to him call them names and stuff and I remember like thinking oh god you know I don't want to tell anyone I'm Jewish because I don't want to get bullied you know out of fear um and then over the years, I've just become like, do you know what? I'm going to represent, I'm going to be proud to say I'm Jewish. Um, especially as a YouTuber, there's not that many like well-known Jewish YouTubers that I can think of anyway. There probably are, but I don't know of any. Um, so I think like for me, in my tiny corner of the YouTube world, I'm just like representing the Jews out there. Probably not representing them very well actually but I'm still representing and you know I'm Jewish it's all good so yeah uh, but uh, yeah I think this day and age is really worrying because like anti-semitism is just on the rise again it's so scary there's so much hate and stuff and I just I just get so upset and so angry about it and uh, I know of a few youtubers I'm not gonna name them or anything but they are Jewish but they're too kind of afraid to kind of come out as such to say they're Jewish shouldn't be like that you know, we should be able to say what faith we are, you know, what sexuality we are, or whatever, and be proud to be who you are. Anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry about that. But, yeah, all I want to say is, like, you know, hope, not hate. Do not, you know, be any way, like, judgmental. If someone's a religion and they want to believe in it, just give them respect. You don't have to agree with them. You don't have to understand. Just, you know, respect each other. I respect people of all different religions. If you're a nice person, that's all that matters to me. Do you know what I mean? So, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> I want to ramble, uh, which isn't good because I've got a sore throat. But anyway, carry on watching because, as I say, I've got some footage from the light up menorah of the public menorah, which is really nice. And uh, it was nice to be like around lots of other Jewish people in the community. And like some of them smile at you, some of them are a bit more kind of clicky, but most of them like were friendly to me and smiled at me or would just say hello and happy Hanukkah. Um, there was donuts there, which I didn't have because I don't eat like sweet stuff like that. But they, they offered me some donuts, uh, which is something you do at Hanukkah. You have like oil based food, lots of oily stuff like latkes and stuff, but also lots of sweet stuff um, like um, donuts, like uh, jelly jam donuts and stuff. So I was offered some donuts. Um, there was even Jewish dogs. There were Jewish dogs there. <laughs> I know they're Jewish because they were dogs and they had like little skull caps on and little outfits. It was very cute. It's very cute. Maybe it's just their owners that were Jewish and dressed them up. But in my mind, they were Jewish dogs, okay? Oi vey. Um, <laughs> so yeah, watch the footage of that. And uh, also, as I say, some footage that we've done with our menorah, um, which is uh, over there glowing. Actually, the candles have gone down, literally, because as they, they go, like obviously the lights, like the candle gets smaller and stuff, and they've really gone small. In the time that I've done this video, they've gone like, whoop, like shrunk. Um, anyway, so carry on watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please click like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, I do have another YouTube channel, MinxLaura123 ASMR. So on that channel, I make videos to help people with anxiety, insomnia. Um, so yeah, go please check out MinxLaura123 ASMR. All the links to my social media and stuff down below so come follow me and add me on social media and as i say if you are jewish happy hanukkah <laughs> carry on watching <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to start by saying good evening, everybody. Good evening. And good evening. Chag Sameach Hanukkah to not only the, the ladies, the gentlemen, the mums and dads, but of course to the children. Children, give us a wave. Have we got Yay. lots of children here? Okay, so... <laughs> Everybody is invited to join and want to hear all your voices and it goes like something Ready? like this. We all have shoes, we all have flowers. 